the Silestine Highway safer. The busy roadway goes through Weathersfield and Rocky Hill, and there's concern over the number of crashes that have been happening. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief A. Galal is live on the Silestine in Weathersfield to explain. A.M. Hi, Aaron. Well, there are serious concerns over how fast cars go on the Silas Dean. And with the help of some new funding, leaders will look at how crosswalks and lighting can help make this roadway safer for both pedestrians and drivers. You come up to a red light that says no turn on red, you get people behind you honking at you to take that turn. Joe Francis has noticed it on the roads, and chances are you have as well. More erratic drivers leading to more safety concerns. I think the number one thing that we hear frequently is the rate of speed. And that's why leaders from Rocky Hill and Weathersfield are coming together in an effort to improve safety along the Silas Dean. Between 2017 and 2021, 23 people died in crashes along the Silas Dean. Well, as you can see, just fly by. I think they hear it's Silas Dean Highway and think maybe it is a highway because that's sort of the way folks drive. Um, it's become a habit and we need to slow that down. A federal grant totaling more than $624,000 was secured to look at how crosswalks and lighting can improve the safety of drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. We need to make the roads safer and we can do it with the right kind of planning for the configuration of the roads. Commuters hope the funding makes a difference. I think that's a great idea and mm -hmm. I, I think they should use that money to definitely put in some new cross lights and stuff. Leaders with this message to drivers. We're also asking drivers to be safer, to try not to drive recklessly, not to run through red lights, not to speed. And the push for more safety measures comes as more housing is being added along the Silas Dean. So folks are going to want to get out of their homes and cross the street and do their shopping, and we're going to need more crosswalks for that, and so it's perfect timing. And the federal funds for the Silas Dean are part of a larger $6 million grant that Connecticut has received through the bipartisan infrastructure law. Live in Weathersfield tonight, Egg and Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Hey, thank you.